we support free speech. Um, that's a that's a that's a significant liberal principle. Freedom of speech is fundamental to our society. Australia is a free country. There's such a thing as freedom of speech in this country, and that will continue. Freedom of speech, unless you're David McBride, Witness K, Bernard Collieri, Jordan Shanks, Christo Lanker, Shane Barzi, Ben Pennings, John Menadieu, Susie Kong, James Lawrenson, Marcus Rubenstein, yours truly. Freedom of speech, unless you're a critic of the government. Freedom of speech, unless you're a journalist doing their job. Last week, Friendly Geordie's producer, the 21-year-old Christo Lanka, was arrested by counter-terrorism police at his home. His mother was knocked over. Lanka's been charged with a criminal act, the act of stalking against New South Wales Deputy Premier, John Barillaro. Now this is clearly a politically motivated action. You can watch the two videos yourself of these alleged incidents of stalking. And you can see that it's a huge overreach of government power. It's reverse terrorism, if you like. If the definition of terrorism is threatening people for political reasons, this is the government threatening people for political reasons. Christo was arrested on the very same day the second alleged stalking incident was supposed to have happened. Real victims of stalking never get such swift justice. Both the state and federal Liberal parties and the nationals purport to be in favour of free speech. Their actions demonstrate precisely the opposite. There is no free speech in Australia. But there are secret trials of whistleblowers. There's defamation lawyers running rampant out there, threatening people on Twitter, threatening journalists weekly to muzzle them, to shut them up. Using the law, exploiting the law for political gain, for political purposes, and to make money. Reform to Australia's draconian defamation laws is absolutely critical to democracy because without the free flow of information, there is no democracy.